He's Nate! He's still getting the Nate and Duke! Wait. Welcome back to Gator's <laughs> Awakening. He's munch, munch. eating some dog food. So that was great. I know it's a fake and all. Here's some bananas. Yum. Got my nanners. I'm doing this whole trading mini game. Oh, neat. And you in the oh you that oh okay yeah. here's one thing we were talking we were just talking about PewDiePie last time I only want to bring it up because like I feel like PewDiePie is something that you should be clear about where you stand on like, sure and I was just like we're gonna talk about PewDiePie and then like I feel like people will assume I don't, I like hate him I don't hate him I don't really even dislike him yeah he's just like I just don't get how that is like. He's doing a good thing for people that do what we do. Yeah, definitely. Also, he like he does a bunch of charity stuff. He's like a like a genuinely like nice enough dude. Yeah. And like after seeing uh the game theorist thing about like how his channel got I really like, wanted to watch that. It's really good. It makes a ton of, like granted granted anything makes a ton of sense if you present it, right? Yeah. If you just pre for all I know it could be wrong, but like the way he stated how YouTube promotes stuff based on like countries and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. It like made a lot of sense. It also has to do with like playtime, like yeah. video playtime, and the fact that he's doing like ten minute videos like all the time. Yeah, just constantly. Like, that like and YouTube just views that as like, hey, this has a ton of watch time mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So like, I don't know. At this point, initially my reaction was just like, I don't like it. How is he so popular? Yeah, and then I'm just like. I don't dislike it. I just don't get how it's popular. And then, right. I, then there's an explanation. I'm like, well, I don't really care anymore. It's like it's a fun. whole new, like, generation of entertainment. Yeah, it's so weird how it it's works like now. People aren't watching TV as it's, much. Yeah, it's so weird how like like what internet did to TV. Yeah. In the sense that like, there's. Okay, you have your form of entertainment, which is TV. Then you have your form of entertainment, which is YouTube. TV is, like, higher budget and less payout. Yeah, it really which is. Which is crazy to think that, you know... Like, well, I mean, it's it's less payout per individual. Well, yeah, but that's, like, essential. Like, basically, like... Oh, God. Like, someone at the top... Like, like... Of a TV if if, a, if two million dollars gets dropped into a TV project, that's not really that big of a deal. That's not really big budget. Yeah. And then the you got to figure for like the payout, like for it depends on like the actors and stuff like that. But you got to figure like in the hundreds of thousands, it's a reasonable thing you yeah. expect an individual to get paid. And then you think about freaking PewDiePie yeah, he's whose a one equipment man show. is his video games yeah. and he has a net worth of two and a half million. Yeah. That's like that's mind blowing. It's, yeah, it's this whole thing. I mean the fact that we can like pay bills doing what we do. Yeah. Like it's not like to say that it has nothing it has nothing to do with the effort put in. It has to do with like the budget. Mm hmm And like it's just weird how this whole it's thing like, works. It's like low risk yeah. And low overhead. It, like, doesn't take much to start. Yeah. And it has... I mean, freaking viral videos I literally mean, can be a no-budget thing that could yeah. make you millions of dollars. Yeah. In theory. It's basically just a hobby that we've been able to make into a job. And, like, at that point, I feel like almost anybody with talent can somehow like manifested into video form like right artists have a way to get paid for art without people buying it yeah musicians have a way to get paid for their music without people buying their songs advertising is all of it's what it's all about exactly it's just it's so interesting every like every day i think about this and i'm just it just kind of blows my mind i'm just like this is weird mainly because it's still relatively new yeah it's so weird. Yeah, I mean, YouTube's been around for what seems like a long time, but this whole... I mean, just the amount that gaming videos have grown in the past... Oh my god, um, yeah. You know, just a couple years. Yeah. Like, we're still, we're still way early with this. Which is... This great. is a new thing. Like, the fact that PewDiePie is getting 50,000 subscribers a day just shows you how much this is growing like 
And the biggest thing, okay, coming from someone who was in, like, who was, who, like, was in bands and, like, was in the music industry and stuff like that, it's so different because it's not even, there's, like, okay, when you're trying to sell music and you're, like, at a show, right? Mm -hmm. You're trying to sell CDs, you these people you're playing with that you're friends with are also your competition yeah and with this there's no real competition because that like the to consume to quote unquote consumer product to basically like instead of listen to our music watch our videos it's free yeah so like promoting another band or another artist or whatever was risking that someone who potentially could have provided you income it's going to someone else not that that's a bad thing mm -hmm. but if you're trying to make a living off something you do want to try and sell the most product you can yeah. it has nothing to do with money hungry it's business and with this if anything cross promoting is like good yeah it's, it's like helpful it's, you like it's, want to it's like weird which i really it feels like there's less competition like yeah. it's not even competition no i don't know like, that's why like i really this is a lot more enjoyable than like doing band stuff and music and stuff it's really fun i'm digging it oh yeah also what the fuck is going on give a monkey bananas builds you a bridge leftover stick money beautiful that wow this is this what got just, really real. What just happened? It's not even real. <laughs> we just had like a six minute just... Seminar? Yeah. Just discussed. Freaking... We basically just had a YouTube podcast. So, uh... <laughs> so, Link, it's Link's Awakening. Leave a comment if you are... If you breathe. <laughs> Tell us about how that's going. Let us know if it's working out for you. A apologies to our asthmatic viewers which actually they still breathe just not as not well as good which compared to our other demographics we joke about is probably actually higher ow yeah probably like apologies to our i don't know random obscure country apologies to those with asthma probably a lot of you yeah my girlfriend has asthma so there you go she's our audience yeah i guess <laughs> kind of uh, I mean, she she wa she watches most of our stuff. I assume she watches your videos. Yeah, she watches all your stuff. She watches all my stuff. She watches our stuff. Well, biggity bop. That's pretty fun. It's pretty nice. It's well, pretty cool. Still freaking. Oh god, the peacock fight. <laughs> that is like. <laughs> That's so good. That will. That will always be like one of my favorite moments. Oh, totally! Had. Freaking that's Cyber Peacock. That was that was when we like kind of first started this. Not first started, but like that was pretty early. Yeah. Wait. It's gonna be hard to top that. We're gonna have to scream some other stuff. <laughs> but it's like, it's weird. I'm not like energized right now. I'm like I'm in a good place to where I can think coherently and like talk. Yeah. But I feel like that's not. We should be just screaming and just. Ah, ah, ah. Well, that's what so PewDiePie does. Oh. Oh. Freaking. Spend went... six minutes talking about how like he's fine and stuff. He's like, all PewDiePie does is scream. It's like, god damn it. <laughs> you know what? But you're right. I don't know. I mean, yeah. It's like I'm sh like, I'm sure he's entertaining. Yeah. To an extent, but I don't know. I I like watch some of his stuff. Some yeah. of it, like I'm, like it's either like I think it's mildly entertaining, or I'm just like eh, it's not my thing. Yeah. But like I'm I, one I of those picky people who's like, I don't know. I forgot where I was going with that. I had I had a thought. I had a legit thought, and it left me. I don't think the main like demographic for Pew for PewDiePie is is us. No, absolutely. It's people younger not. than us. Yeah, for Which, sure. I mean, it was our audience, too. Yeah, definitely. Also, the fact that our smallest demographic are females already? Are they? Are, <laughs> that is so funny. It's hilarious. How to attract a mate. Not like this. 
how to appeal you're, to a suitable mate. You're doing Don't it wrong. do what you're doing. <laughs> exactly what you're not doing, all of that has a better chance. There's like more moms. How many parents watch us that like aren't just monitoring us and like seeing what their kids are watching? Let us know in the comments and we'll talk to you guys next time on Link's Awakening. We are not the worst thing your kids are watching. But we are... Maybe we're the best? I think we are. I Goodbye!